So the L that uh, that we need to go to is the ranger.co.uk. Click enter, and that's the first screen that you're likely to see. And when when you uh, when you first come onto the screen, then there's no details in here. The email address that you need to enter is the email address that you sent me originally with your uh, costings. If you enter that email address, and for this demonstration, I'm going to use the Befrepa, uh admin one, which is free range at befrepa.co.uk. Now, what you wouldn't have got is you wouldn't have got your password. So you need to request your password. So you click on forgotten password, enter your email, click forget password, and that will email you your password to you. If you haven't sent your pricing to me, there's still time to do so. You can set, you can just email me uh, your email address, your name, your packer name, how many birds you have, um, how many eggs per bird you got, and the different uh, prices that you get paid for each grade. I will set you up and send you a, a username and password, and then you can get into the system via that, that way. My email address is keith at theranger.co.uk. So what you need to do is you need to enter your email address. That's the email address that you sent your details with that you now have the password that you will have been sent if you uh, selected forgotten password. Click on not a robot and then log in. And then you will be, you'll be faced with the screen. Once you're logged into the, uh, in, into the portal, you, uh, you immediately come to this dashboard. So once you're logged in, uh, you, you access this dashboard section. Um, and to access different pages within this portal, you'll click on the uh, burger menu in the top left-hand corner, which has the menus for everything that you need to access. And in this instance, I'm going to start with statistics. The first thing I want to show you is the Prefrepa producer price. And if we click on this, we see that we've got two options, one for free range and one for organic. If we go into the free range section, um, here we have all the data uh, for the free range producer price going back to 1993. So you can see in this graph, uh, all the different prices going all the way to where we are now. The, the orange line here is the Befrepa free range break even price. That's the price that we advertise in the Ranger as being the price that we calculate you would break even on. Uh, so you can see at the moment that we're quite a way behind that. The next thing I want to show you is the Befrepa free range retail price for 12 large free range eggs. So again, if we go back to the burger menu, we click on statistics, back to the retail price of 12 large free range eggs, and we click into there. Here we've got, uh, we've got uh, as much data as we've got up to date, which goes back to 2009. And we can see that, uh, that since 2009, the retail value of 12 large free range eggs has been in decline uh, from, from a height of uh, 325 pence right down to where we are now uh, of 228 pence. The next page I'm going to show you is the uh, retail price compared with the feed price, compared with the producer price of 12 free range eggs. So if we go again to the burger menu, back to statistics, and then we go to comparison of free range retail egg price, feed price, and producer price. Uh, on this page, we have a comparison of free range retail egg price, feed price, and producer price. So you can see all three of these factors going back to 2009. So 11 years of data, you can separate this data by just clicking on any of the fields. So you can delete any of the years that you want off this data and it will realign it all. So I'm gonna click back and show them all again. And you can see that the uh, retail egg price, as we um, told you earlier, that it has declined down to 229 pence. The feed price, as we all know, has gone up and continues to go up. And the, uh, the producer price, which has been pretty poor over the last five or six years, has, has steadily just started increasing to 88 pence, but still at the moment below the break-even price that we've ever advertised. The last page I want to show you on statistics is the pullet price. Uh, so if we click through back statistics and on to pullet prices, again, you've got a selection of free range and organic. If we click on free range pullet price, we can then see all the data that we have going way back to 2006. So we can see the pullet price and how that has increased over the years. So if we go back to the burger menu, we've got another option here, which is on packers. So if we click the packers option, 
we have a, a little bit of information about the packers. So we have, um, if we click on UK packers here, we have uh, details on what scheme they're in and the accounts, because it's pretty important that producers know how their packet is performing. So if I just go on to accounts here for Noble Foods, uh, it takes you straight to Companies House and gives you details about their accounts. If I click back out of there and go onto the burger menu again and back onto Packers, uh, you can see we have some options. We have the improvement in bird numbers, but we also have a map here of UK production. And this is basically a map of production of Befrepa producers. So it's not all production. Uh, this is where Befrepa members are producing. Um, so that's all the information that's in statistics. And there's a lot more information in, uh, in statistics. Uh, but what we'd really want to show you today is the egg price, because that's what most producers are interested in, is, is the egg price. And when you go onto the dashboard, you can see here that you've got some options for entering your data. Now, this information is only as good as the information that you enter. So it's up to you to keep this information up to date, in which case it will then give you back the information that you want. Uh, so everybody needs to enter the data. All your data, as I've suggested before, is anonymous. So nobody sees uh, who it is that's entering the data. It's all totally anonymous. Um, and what you need to do to start off with is you need to click this link, which is your egg price. So you need to put your data into the system. When we get to this data, you can see that there's not that many fields that you need to complete. Uh, with flock size, we need to know how big your flock is. We need to know the packer that you're packing for. We need to know whether you're on a feed tracker or not. Uh, we need to know whether you're free range, organic or speciality eggs. We need to know what brand you're in. Now, if you don't see the brand uh, that you pack for, drop me an email and I'll add that brand into this section. So it, it's going to develop this section. It's going to develop depending on the information that you want to give us. Um, you can select your expert bird and you can select the week that you're applying these gradings for. So if you're halfway through your flock and your flock's what, 35 weeks, we need to know that it's 35 weeks. And the reason we need to know that is because obviously the grades and the prices change. So you would then enter your grades. So very large, I've got uh, the Befrepa grades here at 102.5. You would enter the price that you get for all the grades. We're comparing our grades, that's a range of grades, that's the grades that are uh, advertised in the ranger that are developed by ADAS uh, with your prices. So this section, unlike the other section, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, which is the end of flock, we're comparing your prices with range of grades. Uh, so if you enter all your grades and then just click update and that's it, you've entered your grade. And straight away, you will see that it shows you where you rank in this system. So once you've entered your information and we've saved it, so let's just go back to that. So you must update. If you don't update, then it won't save the information. So once you update that information, then that reflects your price here. If it isn't reflecting it, then you probably just need to refresh the page. Um, but there, there you see that my price is 88.13 pence, which is the Ranger price, because I've entered Ranger information. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to go back to the burger menu and back to compare egg prices. And then what we're going to do is, depending on whether you enter free range organic or speciality eggs, you need to click this link to see how you then compare with other people. So once we click through the, uh, uh, the burger menu, we're going to reach this page, which is the free range total egg price. So this is all the information that producers have entered. Uh, at the top, we've got the Befrepa break even price. Now, under some circumstances, and it's not normal circumstances, you may get some prices above this Befrepa break-even price, but at the moment, they're all below this break-even price. Um, so, so you see the Befrepa break-even price is number one. On number two, we've got the, we've got the uh, producer price. This is indicated with a red icon, so free-range producer price. The number is randomized. So if I just refresh that page again, you can see that that number changes. So nobody can be identified at all because all the numbers are randomized on every refresh. And we see that we're a Noble Foods packer. Uh, it's on a tracker and their price that they say they're getting is 91.67 pence. 
So it's all ranked that way. The second, the, the third one is Robinson's Foods. Um, and you can see this is a packet and it's indicated with a blue egg icon. Uh, and this is information that we may have got from the packer or it may be information that we've gleaned through the producers, but it's what we think that packer is paying. And in this case, it's 91.5 pence and Robinson Foods gave us that information. So, uh, and as we scroll down this list, we can see that there's different icons, producers and packers. Um, and we go down to where we said we were on the dashboard, which is number 25, which is our price. So that's the price that I've got when I logged in as Keith Wilde at the Frepper. That is my price. It's indicated in yellow. And just below that, you can see the Befrepa free range uh, average price, which is 88.13 pence again. The same figure as mine because I'm entering the same data. Uh, what I want to do is go back to the dashboard. So we click on the burger menu at the top and click on dashboard. And where we're going to take you then is we've done the your egg price, which is which is uh, the frapper grades and your price. What we want to do next is, is take the end of flock. And the reason we want to take the end of flock is we want to know how well producers are doing at the end of flock. So you may get an incentive at the beginning of your flock that doesn't carry through to the end of flock. So we need to know how well you've done with that flock so that we can demonstrate uh, the, the prices that producers are getting. So again, I'm going to click on edit here and you get the same calculator, but with a few variations. So again, we need to put in the flock size. We need to put in the packer. Um, again, if your pack is not there, email me and I'll add the packer to the list. Uh, we want to know whether you're on a free tracker or not. We want to know the production system, so whether it's free range or organic. We want to know the uh, whether you're on a flat decker, multi-tier, and I'll show you why later. Uh, we want to know what brand you pack into. And again, if your brand isn't there, email me, I'll add it. It takes me two minutes to do so. Uh, we want to know what breed you're in. Uh, again, if your breed's not there, email me and I'll add it. This is this is all a system that's going to develop depending on what you add. Uh, the eggs per bird uh, information we need. We need the average egg weight, uh, and it's they're all selections, so it's all in there. You just need to select what it is. Uh, the feed consumption uh, that your birds had at the end of your flock, uh, the mortality that you had, uh, the depletion age, the depletion year. So what year this flock was depleted. And then importantly at the bottom, we want to know what grades you achieved at the end of your flock. And then we're going to compare them with the FREPA prices. So we're going to compare everything like with like. So once you enter all that detail, then you press update. And it's important that you press update because if you don't press update, it doesn't save it. So press update and we're back to uh, the dashboard is I'm going to then go back to the burger menu. So the burger menu is the key. That gives you all the links to where you need to go. Uh, and if you click again on compare egg prices, you can see here below, we've got end of flock comparison. Uh, so whereas we were entering egg price comparison before, we're now on end of flock comparison. So we, we need to click on there. And again, we're ranking everybody according to price. Um, and we we uh, we give you the same information, but this time with no packet information. So this icon indicates that they're all producers. So all this information in here is a producer information. So we're on free range producer end of flock. There again is a Befrepa uh, break even price. Uh, and again, nobody's above it. Um, and if you look, we've got free range end of flock. Again, it's a randomized number. So if I refresh that page again, number one would be 246 and not 109, but the price wouldn't change. So it's 94.88 pence. So this is what a producer has achieved at the end of their flock. So this figure doesn't lie, although we are comparing uh, Befrepa prices. So, um, so the difference here is this is your grades and Befrepa prices. Um, so if you scroll down that list, you can see that we've got quite a lot of it end of flock information uh, and prices. Now, what we want to do with the information that we um, told you about previously, that again is when we get back to here, where th that's a range of costings price. So we see that people 
quite a few people are above the range of costing price at end of flock. That might be due to bonuses or grades or whatever. Um, just below there is our ranking or my ranking with the prep price. So I'm 68 in this case. I'm 25 on the other one. But at the end of flock, I'm 68. I'm ranked 68. And you can see there's quite a lot of information there. Um, and if you click the red icon on any of this information, I'm going to give more information, but I do just break down uh, the grades with the, prep, uh, with the price paid per dozen. Um, and what I want to do is, is whereas this, this um, uh, data is, is, it evolves. So it evolves with the information that you give us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the burger menu. If I click on compare egg prices again, statistics, free range and then we click on packers but the first the blue graph is the most important because that that, that gives us the end price that's the price that producers tell us that they're paid um, so as you can see from some of these that particular time so this is the time that we started collecting this information which is a few months ago and remember that we've got to keep this information up to date um, uh, to, to, to ensure that uh, that we have accurate information. So we've got to keep changing all this. Um, now, there may have been some increases, and this will all iron itself out as we go through time. But at that particular time, told us they were paying 87.58 pence. So that's the most important part of this graph. Uh, the, second, the, the, the second part of this graph, as we scroll down, is the different grades. So if we've got a very large egg, that's the price that they pay for very large. One thing to just remember is that some packers uh, pay an all egg price. So if you've got uh, somebody here like Bumblehoe, which is a processing price on white birds, they keep the birds longer. There's all sorts of different uh, uh, different parts to uh, to that model, uh, but you'll see it's ninety pence for for all the grades. So you'll see somewhere ninety pence for everything that Bumblehole does. So that's a bit misleading when you get to smalls because you think, oh, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll sell my smalls to Bumblehole for 90 pence. Well, no, it's an all egg price. So you've got to sell all your egg to Bumblehole for 90 pence. Uh, one other thing that I need to show you is why we ask for so much data in end of flock. So I'm going to go back to uh, the compare egg prices. I'm going to go to end of flock statistics and I'm going to just give you an example of why we ask for some of this data. So we ask for whether you're on a, a flat deck or a multi-tier system. And this is work in progress, but we can see here that most producers are on multi-tier. Um, and it gives you a sort of a breakdown of what we think is happening, which is probably about 25% of producers are on flat deck uh, and 75% on multi-tier. But obviously this is this is a small amount of data and this will develop. So this is why we're asking for this information. Uh, we'll do the same information for uh, grams of feed at, at end of flock and, uh, and uh, eggs per bird. Uh, so here we have an overview of the costings portal. It's only as good as the information that you enter. So please enter your, your egg price and your end of flock information. Uh, there's a question and answer session at the end of this uh, webinar. So I'll be pleased to answer any questions that I can.